This is the Masterbuilt MB2001240 electric fryer. This is also a boiler, a steamer, and it's stainless steel with a black trim. This is a 10 liter version. It has an extra large capacity with the ability to fry up the 20 pound turkey. I personally fried a around a 16 pound turkey. This is great during Thanksgiving and Christmas if you're frying a turkey. You could also fry chicken. You could do vegetables. You could do a low country boil. It's very versatile. You have to slide this down here and then you'll see this plug. It's got this side up on the top. You want to press that in. It's magnetized. It's a safety feature. In case of emergency, you could quickly disconnect it, which will cut off the machine. Very neat safety feature. You also have this thermostat control here. It allows you to adjust the temperature, and this is based off how many pounds you're cooking. This could hold up to a 20 pound bird, but I personally use like a 16 pound last Thanksgiving, and I probably wouldn't go any larger than that just because you want to make sure that the oil is able to cover up the bird during the frying. Now, when you put the oil in, don't fill past the maximum fill line. It's kind of hard to see here, but it'll hold two and a half gallons or 11 quarts of, uh, you know, whatever oil you decide to use, peanut oil, etc. If you were to cook, say, a 20 pound turkey at 375, it'd be three and a half to four minutes per pound. So that would be around 70 to 80 minutes cooking time, give or take. Once you preheat it, you want to ease the basket in. I would suggest using some sort of heat glove. You have this little hook that allows you to drop the basket in, but just do it slowly. Once it's in, you let it run its course, and then you'll take that hook and pull the basket out, and you can set it up at the top of this fryer, and it'll let that grease drain. And then once that drains, then you can take it out and let it rest, and you can cut it up however. When you get done, you have to let this sit for so many hours to cool down before you drain the grease. You pull this black panel up, you have this little nozzle, and tighten the nozzle onto this drain. I would suggest using a little filter, and you could put the oil back into the original container if you'd like to store for future use. It'll come out rather quickly at first. It may slow down just a little bit, depending on where it's at, at the bottom of the fryer. But anyways, this is it's very easy to clean up once you get to this point. And it's, uh, it's definitely great for the holidays or if you're doing, if you're frying turkeys or whatnot. But this is a look at the Masterbuilt 10 liter MB2001240 electric fryer, boiler, and steamer.